Suzhou County's journey from barren to fertile land bears witness to the resilience of humanity and the power of international cooperation. This area once suffered from severe salinization, white salt efflorescence were everywhere, and the wheat harvested in a year was barely enough to make dumplings for the Chinese New Year. In 1973, Experts from the China Agricultural University came to Tsuzhou to explore the comprehensive management of saline alkaline land by using 400 mu of land in Zhangzhuang village, the most heavily salinized area as the experimental zone. Tongo 之后见了这个臭臭臭的人, In 1977, the total grain output of Zhangzhuang had increased by about two times the historical highest level. The toughest challenge had been resolved, but how could this success be quickly replicated to free the region from salinity as soon as possible? Suzhou faced difficulties due to the huge gap in funding and resources. As one of the first agricultural foreign investment projects since the reform and opening up, Hebei Agricultural Development Loan Agreement Project was approved by United Nations Specialized Agency, the International Fund for Agricultural Development, on September 1982. This enabled the quick replication of the successful strategies of CAU experts. The EFAD project covered an area of 280 square kilometers with a population of 123,100 an arable land area of 350,000 mu. The lender also provided free food assistance for 5.26 million working days. The rural landscape in northern Tijia was transformed, with significant improvements in key indicators, including grain production, irrigated land, forest coverage, and farmer income. In 2009, over two decades after the EFAT project's completion, CU established the country's first science and technology backyard here, carrying out research and promotion of practical new technologies, effectively solving the last mile problem in agricultural technology. Over the past 15 years, this practice has been expanded significantly. China has 157 research institutions that have established 1,800 science and technology backyard to serve rural areas. The China Africa Science and Technology Backyard Project, launched in 2019, aims to train a group of young people in Africa who understand agriculture, love rural areas, and love farmers. The newly inaugurated Science and Technology Backyard Africa Center will serve Africa with Malawi as the center of dissemination. The Tsujo model, created by 50 years of continuous efforts from CAU teachers and students, is profoundly affecting the promotion of agricultural technology in Africa. So South-South Triangular Cooperation becomes a very important element in how China can support the world how we can all come together on a multilateral system that really makes many of these lessons learned be adapted and transferred in a localized way to many of these countries. Chinese President Xi Jinping recently announced an additional renminbi contribution, equivalent to 10 million US dollars to the Chinese FAT South-South and Triangular Cooperation Facility to strengthen China's support for promoting rural transformation in the Global South. EFAD and China are working together to promote the Global Development Initiative, building a new type of South-South cooperation partnership, and contributing to the acceleration of the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals Agenda.